What's going on, Legion? Azrael here, like always. And we're back with more 21 Pilots. We got Nico and the Robin in the music video. Uh, I People were like, hey, man, when they come out with the video, can we react to it? I said, sure. Um, what the hell? That's a loud car. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they came out with it, and sure enough, it's here. Now, let's just kind of recap the, the rating system that I was put in for some of the songs in the past. Um... I believe, well, no, I don't believe, I know, I gave Heathens a 10. And out of all the other ratings, I gave Heathens a 10. Why? Because I like the music video a lot, and I like the song a lot. And it was just a perfect storm. It was my favorite song from them, for the most part. I think I gave uh, Stressed Out, like, a 9, 9.5-ish. I gave Jumpsuit, like, a 6, I think, um, just because it wasn't my thing. And, uh, you know, I, I think I joked and gave Car Radio, like, a 1. But I gave Nico and the Ramen like a 9, 9 point. I gave like a 9 because there was no music video. And I, and I was jokingly saying because the picture was moving a little bit, it could be a 9.5, maybe 10. But that was a joke. Um, and the reason why I kind of have that rating and what makes the rating, I think, go higher and what makes it go to it. Usually you don't give out the perfect 10, right? But I think when it comes to music, there is an argument to be made that you can give out a number 10 you know, for your favorite, because it all depends on how much you listen to it. Heathens, I listen to that song all the time. Nico, since the last reaction, I've actually been listening to it probably almost every day. If Unless I'm not on my computer, but if I'm on it, it's either queued up, ready to go, or I listen to it at least once whenever I start my stream on Twitch. it's kind of, It's been the opening song for the I'm Starting Soon screen. That's what I've been listening to. Uh, Nico and the Robin definitely... Definitely love uh, the song. It probably is my new favorite right now. And I'll probably do what I did with Heathens. And I will listen to it so much that I just won't listen to it like on my personal time. It'll just be in the main mix. And when it pops up, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. But with that, let's just get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. I'm really excited to see what this music video is. I thought Jump Street's music video was pretty good. It was a continuation from... Uh, I can't want to say Heavy Dirty Soul, but I don't think that was it. I, everybody was telling me in the comments, everybody was giving me all the information. That this was like a continuation from a specific song, from an album. And I, I just can't remember it off the top of my head. So if there's any kind of, and I guess that, that the whole album is going to kind of be like that. So if you guys want to let me know and, and give me the background. I'm not, I'm not in it right now. I, I'm not watching the interviews. I'm not like reading the forums and stuff. I don't know what this music video is going to... Uh, continue from also just as a disclaimer there's a lot of people who go why don't you know what you're talking about when you react why are you just being some idiot that's just re reacting to something that's that's the point of reacting uh, hello like are we not on the same page here there's no point to know all the secrets and then watch and go oh yeah here's all i'm not an information channel i'm a reaction channel I'm here to go, holy shit, that's from Car Radio or something. Not going, oh yeah, so I looked up that this is Car Radio, and maybe your minds would be blown if you didn't know, but I think it's better if I don't know. That's the whole point. So I go into all reactions blind, not knowing anything. That's the point. So with that, let's just get into it. Check it out. See what's out once again. Let's hope it's good. Nico and the Niners. I think I said Nico and the Robins once, did I? I? I always want to say Nico and the Robins. I don't know why. Nico Robin is a character from One Piece. Uh, it's my bad. This is bizarre. It's like some dystopian Russia. Alright. <laughs> a, a vulture. Alright. I'm fearless when I hear this on the low East is up I'm careless when it? I wear my rebel clothes East is up When bishops come together They won't know that Dima don't control us Dima don't control us East is up They wanna make you forget They wanna make you forget Save your razor blades now It's not yet Save your razor blades uh, now so good. It's not yet I'm heavy My jumpsuit Steady. I'm lighter when I'm lower. 
week on the Niners means. I just not thought of that. East is up. I'm fearless when I hear this on the low. East is up. I'm careless when I wear my rebel clothes. East is up. When bishops come together, they won't know that Dima don't control us. Dima don't control us. I'm heavy. My jumpsuit is unsteady. I'm lighter when I'm lower. I'm higher when I'm heavy. Oh, I'm so high. My jumpsuit takes me so high. I'm flying from a fire. From Nico and the Niners. Oh, I got so much stuff to say about the song and how it's made and why I like it so much compared to other songs from them. Oh, it's kind of like the jumpsuit from last... Oh, hey! Oh, no! I hate you so much! God damn it! Stop it! Say when I wanna be enough, what a beautiful day for I'm making a break for it. We'll find a way to pay for it. Maybe from all the money we made, raise a blade stores, rent a race horse and force a sponsor and start a concert, a complete diversion. Start a mob, but you can be quite certain. We'll win, but not everyone will get out. No, no. We'll win, but not everyone will get out. No, no. We'll win, but not everyone will get out. East is up. I'm fearless when I hear this on the low. East is up. Yeah, Josh. I'm fearless yeah. When I wear my <laughs> people again for that guy darkness I actually had I actually had a thing when I was watching a lot of music videos a, lot, a couple years ago that I said man if I was ever lucky enough to be talented like this uh where I was making music or whatever, one of the things that I would do is I would have all my music videos, I think for the most part, would be connected in some way. It would be like a show, almost. Whether it was live action, whether it was anime in there, music videos where it was just animation. It would all be in some weird, even if the song, even if the, the video had nothing to do with the actual song, it would be some kind of story. Um... That's kind of what I, I thought. And that's kind of what they're doing, and I'm really glad to see that because don't see, we don't see a lot of artists do that. Um, for anybody else that's maybe a little on the gaming side of the world, this <laughs> this music video reminded me of like Death Stranding. If you don't know what that is, look that trailer up. It's it, The game's not out yet, but it's this Kiwami game that is just bizarre. And that's what this reminds me of. It's just this weird, bizarre um, thing. Uh, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging the weirdness from it. Now, I want to know, does this continue from Jumpsuit? Is that what the point of this is? Like, Jumpsuit was a continuation from, like, the last album. And now it's just, instead of, like, this song being a continuation of a different song, Jumpsuit was a continuation of a specific song. And now Nico and the, and the Niners is a, is just the next part of that story. That's what I'm, I'm it, that's what it looks like with the same guy with the, the face, the Valtori are coming in here doing shit. It's weird, uh, but I like it a little bit. You know, it's just one of those weird things. Um, yeah, and so the song is just great. I think, uh, I don't think I give this a perfect 10. Um, like I said, 10s are pretty hard to get. 
you know, in general, not not me. Like I think all of us just wouldn't just start giving out tens. That's that's like perfect, right? And that there's really nothing that's perfect. For me though, Heathens was just that awesome of a song, and uh, I definitely think it's a nine nine point five with the music video no problem out of intrigue i don't think the music video was like great i don't like i was like oh that's a badass music video but i was interested like there are episodes of shows where i'm like i'm i want to know what happens next not oh my god that was the you know it was the red wedding oh my god like you know there are episodes where i'm like oh someone found out that he was fucking his sister now i want to know what happens to them in the next episode it's an it's an intrigue episode it, it piques my curiosity there's a difference i think from going oh my god that music video was the shit and then there's yeah i liked it what it, it's like a story though you know and i'm curious to see uh what happens in the next pretty much episode of this album that's a weird thing to say and i'm glad i get to say that what's the next episode in this album that's kind of cool and i'm kind of kind of glad that's a thing because uh, that's what it feels like uh, like always, you guys can leave the comments down below. Love to see them, love to see the comments and let me know. I have no idea what this video is about. I have no real, like, in depth analysis on It's like a dystopian kind of world, it seems like. Uh, because the song is the when the uh, bishops, whatever, they, when they see us, they know that demons won't control us. So. There's that kind of undertone uh, of like religion in a way, specifically like the Catholic Church. Um, I believe was it, it wasn't it was, uh, the Cardinals or whatever, not Pope. Did I say Pope? Uh, or, or I forgot what it, I actually forgot the lyric is of what specific it is when the not not Cardinals. What? Why can't I think of the name? I don't know, but we know it's. It's a religious group or religious uh, um, rank in like the Catholic Church, I believe. Unless I'm completely misremembering what the what that well, it didn't say rabbis, so I'm assuming. Um, so it's just like this weird like rebellion underground thing. It looks like against oppression of maybe something like a church or the overall like system. That is our world. I, I don't specifically know. Now, of course, everybody's gonna like, well, that's dumb, or this is what it really is. I'm, I'm. Remember that you say that after you looked up the answer. Okay, I have not done that. I'm just the best part about, and I think a lot of people really enjoy the best part about doing Twenty One Pilot reactions is to do my own. What is this? Like, what if? Or I think it's this thing. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, this is the truth. Okay, that's that's also neat. I'm glad you told me. But that's what it looks like. It's like, I don't know why, but this song specifically, now, I don't want people to get mad when I make comparisons to uh, other groups, other bands, but because it's like, what I take away is that they will know we're not demons, which means we will not be persecuted, which means we will not be labeled, and that big entity will not, you know, make us disappear and that also is very reminiscent of system of the down when they use terms like the tablecloth which represented like the government blanketing everything uh that it that it, it was you know in its vicinity and it controlled it and that's kind of what the vibe i'm kind of getting from this this, this specific song not jumpsuit too much um but this specific song uh it is very much giving me those kind of vibes that it is a, a protest almost in a way, um, but again, I would love to hear the the meaning behind it. If there is one, if they come out and if they specifically come out and say it, if you've read any articles where it's like, yeah, this is our best guess. I love to see those theories as well. Um, it's really cool. Twenty One Pilots is just kind of like this weird phenomenon. They didn't go about the whole radio MTV kind of route. They went with the the intellect, the thought-provoking videos and songs, and the general curiosity when they do something weird, um, and that's what I think is a huge. I think that's a huge reason why they have the fan base they have, is because they didn't go the super. And I've said this before, they haven't gone the super sellout way. They just kind of went. 
hey man, we got some weird shit we want to say. We got some stuff with some real meaning behind it. Let's just put that together. We got some weird artistic music video ideas. And let's put out some weird, bizarre uh, shit. And people will like it, hopefully. And I think that's... I think that's the truth. People do like it because it is. It's it is. It's different. You don't see a lot of this now. You see a lot of uh, wherever it's the Ariana Grande's out there, um, the rap, which is an all new low. I think, in my opinion, um, I haven't seen a lot of like new rock coming out. I've seen a lot of punk, screamo, stuff like that, uh, and it's all pretty straightforward. It's all kind of the stuff we've seen throughout the decades and every now and then we get some unique people whether it is rap rock uh some weird acapella group that came from america's got talent whatever um you know and then we got 21 pilots and the few people in that wheelhouse of just like different and i'm, I'm really struggling to think of anyone that is like that different i know there are there have been in the past like five years of a couple People that just do their own thing, um, but I'm at, but you know that with that comes an up and a down, and uh, I can't actually think of who they are. But with that, I think I'm gonna get out of here, man. Uh, Twenty One Pilots killing it still. Um, one, I actually remember this. I said I wanted to discuss the song specifically of how it was f framed. Um, I almost forgot. So. 21 Pilots does a thing with their music sometimes where they start out with an awesome chorus and a great song and they end it with trash. Um, that doesn't happen a lot, but there was like a song they did where it started out really good and I think it was, it might have been, I don't think it was Stressed Out, it might have been, um, ah crap, what's that song? Um, it's the one that they do it all in the snow. Shit. Uh, I actually want to look it up real quick because I want to know the song. Uh, 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 what is it? Let's see. 21. What's the song? Uh, Fairly Local. I think Fairly, it, Fairly Local was one that has a very similar frame to this song where it starts out with this incredible, like, rock. We'll just say rock. Or, no, it's not punk. It's alternative rock, I think. But come out with this awesome, just band quality song, um, <clears throat> and at the and it, towards the end of it, it has like the voice synth synthesizer, and it augments the voice, and he does like a rap, I believe. I believe that's fairly local, um, and then it ends that way. And fairly local, if it's not fairly local, it's 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 one of them. I I just it's been a while since I've actually heard fairly local, but um, I, I, no fake fan. Uh, so they've done that in a few songs and I'm like eh, sometimes it, it hits sometimes it misses I love Fairly Local I definitely think out of all of them too that's also probably one of my favorites easy a 9.5 for me personally that's just I really love Fairly Local I think it's just really good the music video is just so damn good for that song but they've done that sometimes and I remember saying I don't really like when people do this especially with the voice changer and Rapping during like a what seems like a band like rockish uh, song, but they do it all. They do it pretty well, and I was like saying I wasn't a big fan of that, but they do it okay, and they did in this song. And I remember I was just skipping back to the beginning, right when I got to the end of the Nico and the Niners part from a fire, Nico and the Niners, and I would go right back to the beginning. I would just skip the end, um, and then eventually I I just. I let the song play out, and I'm like, all right, I love the beginning part, but the ending part is, is actually growing on me, and I actually really like the ending of Nico and the, and the Niners now. And it's just another instance where he does, like, a band-style song, and then he ends it off with, like, this kind of, like, little freestyle, not freestyle, but, like, this little flow that he does. And I'm like, it somehow works, man. It, it just kind of comes together. It's so bizarre that he does it. I wonder... Now, I know this is a 20-minute video almost. I'm so sorry for all the people. You know what to do. Just go ahead and throw that in the comments. Let me know you stay to the very bottom. And I love you a long time. Uh, one of the things I want to know is... 
does I forgot to put a th oh shit I forgot to put this up as a thumbnail that sucks. Um, one of the things that I want to know I'm curious about is will um okay I'm just doing something will the style of their song now let me know as your as the viewers of uh, the fans of Twenty One Pilots will this style of music where maybe not specifically their entire genre. But what they kind of do, as far as uh, the the raps, sometimes at the end of it, the little freestyle, the freestyle, the the flow. Um, will that be like how Limp Biscuit and like has like a DJ has like turntables on their in their group, and everybody's like, oh yeah, that and Lincoln Park, which is considered to be a dead style now. It's that's. 2000, it's like 99, 2000s. You know, Limp Bizkit has guitars, drummer, singer, and a DJ. And Linkin Park did that. And that's considered to be dead now. Nobody, Korn, I think, did that, does that in some songs, but they don't have a DJ. So, will this be a style that in 10 years is just something where they go, oh, it's overplayed, it's just so bad, the, the little rap at the end. <clears throat> Or do you think, to be honest, don't don't be like, I'm a fanboy or fangirl of Twilight Pilots. They'll never die. Don't do that. I don't care about that opinion. That's a pointless opinion. It's not going to do me any favors reading that. I want a general, honest, take a step back and go, huh, I never thought of it that way. Do you think that they'll evolve or will they have? Will that be like a niche they keep? I What I hope is they do what they're kind of doing now and they don't put it in every song. They just put it in like whenever they feel like they want to put it in and they just keep making... The music evolves, but every now and then we get something like the end of this song, which is that flow, the end of Fairly Local. That's kind of what I hope goes, because I think that's what keeps, I think that's a good thing. You evolve, but you never forget where you came from, and you kind of keep some of those elements there, or you bring some of those elements back, like as a recall. Going, oh yeah, I remember when they did a song similar to, oh, this is like the, you know, blah, and you know, and it's good. So I don't know, that's all I have to say. I have a, oh, God, oh camera, hello. That's a lot of talking, that's a lot of rambling. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if I offended anybody or something like that in some way, well, it, I wasn't. I didn't mean to, but I'm not sorry. It's just my opinions. If you don't like it, eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's really good. I, I really like the song. Definitely think it's one of the best ones they've done. I haven't actually checked to see if they come out with just a whole new song when they release this music video. I will be checking before I make the next group of videos. Uh, I already have like four queued up right here. Uh, and then Thursday, I will be remaking, I will be continuing making videos again. I will make like four videos, three videos, whatever. Uh, and then I'll be, you know, I'll, up my, I'll upload the last one on Wednesday and then I'll make more videos on Thursday. And I'll, between now and Thursday, I will check to see if there is a new 21 Pilot song. If there is, I will get to it and I will probably maybe make it my Thursday video. Uh, with that, though, I'll be checking out the new Invader Zim uh, trailer that I just kind of put off from last week. I'm kind of excited to see if that's good. Uh, I wasn't the biggest Invader Zim fan, but I did watch it. My friend tattooed his girlfriend with uh, Gur, and then he used bad ink, so it, she went through all the pain of getting it on her ankle, and then it just faded away. And that was really funny. So, sucks to suck, bitch. Um... With that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Like the video, like the content. Go like, subscribe, and share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. I'm out. Later.